Mastering Intransitive Phrasal Verbs Elevate Your English Hello, English learners. Today, we're taking a deeper dive into the world of phrasal verbs, focusing on a particular type, intransitive phrasal verbs. These are phrasal verbs that don't need an object to make sense. They stand alone, and they're incredibly useful in daily conversation. So, let's get started. Let's start with the basics. In English, intransitive phrasal verbs are verbs that consist of a verb and a preposition or adverb, or both, that do not require an object to make sense. Their meaning is complete as is. Remember, an object is the person or thing that is affected by the action of the verb. Now, let's explore some common intransitive phrasal verbs, their meanings, and some examples. 1. Wake up, to stop sleeping. For example, I usually wake up at 7 a.m. 2. Sit down, to move your body so that the lower part of it is resting on a chair or on the ground. Example, please, sit down and make yourself comfortable. 3. Grow up, to mature or become an adult. Example, when I grow up, I want to be a doctor. 4. Show up, to arrive at a place, especially if you are expected. Example, she didn't show up for her appointment. 5. Break down, to stop functioning. It's often used to talk about machines or vehicles. Example, my car broke down on the way to work. Remember, these verbs do not need an object to complete their meaning. They are complete on their own. Finally, let's see how we can use these verbs in sentences. I need to wake up early tomorrow for my trip. Can we sit down and talk about this calmly? As we grow up, we learn more about the world. I hope he shows up in time for the meeting. I was late because my car broke down. Notice how the verbs convey a complete thought without the need for an object. That's the beauty of intransitive phrasal verbs. And that's it for today, dear learners. We hope this tutorial on intransitive phrasal verbs helps you to understand and use them more effectively in your English conversations. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try to use these phrasal verbs in your daily speech and writing. Stay tuned for more helpful videos, and as always, happy learning!